Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Northside Plow. Just want to give you guys a big shout out for getting this channel to over a hundred subscribers. Thank you so much. This week we got Troy. He is one of my great friends down here on the Gulf Coast. He has been coming to all the locals and he's been in the Yu-Gi-Oh scene for about as long as I have. And I really, really do, you know, love this guy. He is a really good guy. So I'm glad I got to sit him down for his deck profile over at Gamers and Geeks for the Dimension Force Case Tournament. And he actually ended up going fourth place, which is absolutely insane. Troy has been trying so hard with this Sword Soul deck. We've been in the Discord going nuts back and forth with uh, the Pop One team, with me, with him. Just testing the deck out and getting it perfect, especially for his liking. And uh, I think he managed to do it good. The only people that he lost to at the tournament was actually the Pop One Podcast team. The people who helped him build his deck. So I'm very excited to give you guys this video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Let's get this channel to the moon. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, without further ado, here's my boy, Troy. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Northside Plot. I'm here with one of my great, great friends, Troy, man. He came here to G&G at Gamers and Geeks in Mobile, Alabama, and he played the Dimension Force Case Tournament and top forward this hoe, man. He went crazy, dude. And um, I've been talking to Troy a lot since this tournament was announced, and uh, we get on the Pop One Discord often, do remote duels, talk about our deck and every, everything and how it's going to go. And uh, he was really confident about coming here and placing and let alone top eight, he got top four and uh, went, you know, the, the only people that, you know, really he went up against was and in top four was the Pop One Podcast team. So, you know, that's a very hard challenge to get past. And uh, he almost had both of them. So it's very, very good to see Troy here getting his deck profile. And uh, how are you feeling today, Troy? I'm feeling pretty good, man. It was definitely a tough tournament. Um, no easy matches for sure. Um, but yeah, definitely pop one. Definitely gave it to me for sure. Let's go, dude. Yeah, let's those go. Guys are nuts. Well, let's see what you played today and uh, just go over some of the stuff. Uh, yeah, I was playing a uh, typical 10 use sword solo. So you're going to play your three Ecclesia. Crazy card going second, you know. It always baits the ash, you know. And then you, you probably have a follow up with, like a Moye or something. So you're two Taie, it's how you get into your Moye combo. You go Taie into um, to Baxia, then Baxia, or Taie send uh, Moye to the grave, Baxia their board, get out Moye, and just keep going, man. Just so much gas in this card. Um, three Moye, great yes, card, always get you the draw. Great card. Um, long on, typical. Three, burns for 1200, great in time, great card overall. Yeah, that's pretty much my typical Sword Soul package right there. Um, looks good. Looks pretty standard. Looks pretty good. For the Tinnies, three Ashina, mm -hmm. great card. Three Vashuda, just breaks boards left and right. Great card. Ivara, great card too. The one Shadana, which only really came up with a mirror match today. Um, great card. Only came with the mirror match. It was really funny. I Shadana, he Shadana. It was nuts. It was really nuts. Um, three vessel, typical. Uh, two dragon circle, possibly the MVP today. Just they would try to get rid of my monsters. I would just go dragon circle, keep going. It was nuts. Nice. Um, yeah, that's it for the uh, sword soul monsters and tiny spell or monsters spell and traps. Uh, next emergence. Yep. Just get you where you want to go. Oh yeah. And the one blackout. Okay. Uh, blowout card that goes off. They have to waste resources on it. I mean, it's just it gets you so much advantage if it goes off. It's nuts. Very nice. Yeah. Now just like for the generic spells and traps, you got two droplet, one lightning storm. <laughs> uh, going in today, I didn't know if I wanted to do three lightning storm or three droplet. Um, Great cards either way. I definitely play the going second build, blind going second. So. Would you have upped the number if you could though, like playing today? Oh, uh, absolutely. Um, it's definitely a blowout card when it goes off, especially if you got a droplet or something else that's just turned off their negates. Yeah. And you just, it's nuts. It's gotcha. a crazy card, but yeah, no room for three of each. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I would definitely play three of each if I could, but 45 cards is really pushing it already. Yeah, so. you're right. Yeah. Definitely. It's for the blowout cards, we got one called by. Of course. Again, the Saki one of. It's, it's nuts. It just it saves your turn no matter what. They can't really do anything about it. Two pot, because 
you came off the ban list uh, two. I mean, you gotta play two. It's just crazy in this deck. Um, I only got hit once today, so it definitely top decked some good stuff for me. Top deck Lightning Storm in one game. I was just, I went off from there. It was pretty good. Thanks. Three imperms. They just yeah. Good um, card. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Great card. Yeah, um, if they're doing like um, Brave Token, and you just imperm their uh, Griffin, they have to waste the gate, and you just go off from there. Yeah. Three Ash. Great card. Ash the uh, Brain Infusion. It's just nuts. Anything. It, it's just a great card. Three DD Crow never came up today. Honestly, it yeah. Three slots. Same here. I put three DD Crow in mine, and it just it, I'm taking it out. Like yeah. it, it, you know, it works for certain things. Don't get me wrong, but it was just it, I didn't see enough of it today. So it was just one of those things where I was just like, yeah, this has got to come out. I could have put a lot of better things in the deck besides oh, uh, DD Crow. Yeah, there could have been a lot of different stuff that just would have extended so much more. Or just save the game, but it was, right. Yeah, it is what it is. That's facts. That's facts. Okay, cool, man. Let's see some extra deck. Extra deck. Okay. Um, got three monk. The um, monk, three yeah. Three monks. It's not typical, but it definitely comes up for sure. Especially like blind going second, but it always catches everybody by surprise. They're like, oh, a third monk. And it's like, yeah, third monk. And just you just go off from there. The shoot at Shuna. Yeah. And um, at horror, they're just crazy cards. Yeah, so you got the three level tens. Um, you got Ching Ying, Quixing, Long Yang, and Baron. Uh, Ching Ying never really came up today, but when it does, it's great. Uh, Quixing, Long Yang, especially when you're locked in the worms, it's great in time. You get the banish on special summon and then burns for 12, and then banish a uh, spell or trap, burn for 12. And you know, you're also burning off a of Long Yang for, for 12, so it's 36, so it's just nuts. Baron, generic level 10 that pop in the gate. Great card. A lot of Baron today? Um, yeah, I'd say a good bit of Baron. Uh, when I'm not locked in the worms, I try to go into it. Yeah. For sure. If I can. Two Chi Chow. Great cards. Imperm. And then it adds one from deck to hand. Just great card overall. Got the two box you Best card in the deck. Yeah. Now, MVP today? MVP. Nice. Um, Sun Avalon today. I had summed it twice. They, um... They, drop, they shotgun the drop it on the first one, which I guess they really had to, but I just summoned another one. They're like, oh, it's not once per turn. I'm like, yeah, it's not. Just wipe their board, and then I just wiped them from there. It was pretty good. Nice. Um, the one Yazi never really came up. Um, I might cut it. Um, yeah, it never really came up today. I kind of wish it did, but it is what it is. Uh, Berserker, another one of, didn't come up today, but when it does, it's pretty good. Banish a monster and then gains the attack. It's, it's pretty good. One Dragite, great card. Never came up though. And then for the spice, we've got the White Orwell. Never came up today, but if it ever does, it's definitely a blowout. Wipes their monsters if they're on attack position. Basically, Lightning Storm. And then it does piercing damage. And then if it gets destroyed, you just summon it right back. It's pretty good. Okay. And then the one Baguska came up today in the mirror match. They were shocked. They were like, what? And I was like, yeah. I'm just going to end the game right here. And that's all it was. So Very cool, good. man. Definitely a little spice in the extra deck, but definitely room to play with. Good for you. So it looked good to me. Yes, sir. All right, what's your side, man? Side, man. Three Mystic Mind. Okay. Um, not that spicy, let's be honest. Um, it's Mystic Mind. It, it's Mystic Mind. Everybody knows what it does. Everybody hates it. But it was really funny because um, someone spent some of their uh, inspector border and I was like, all right, Mystic Mind. And we just, nobody did anything from there. So. <laughs> it tur turned the whole game off. It was awesome. Definitely a lot of fun. Not really, but it was what it is. <laughs> One red reboot. Um, this needs to be a three of, especially with how powerful traps are right now. I mean, the cost is so, it's a lot of cost, but when it goes off and you can close the game right there, it's great. He needs to go ahead and be a three of, for sure. And two lava golems, they never came up today. Um, yeah, that's just how you get rid of the monster negates, or the yeah. monster they have on the board negates. If it goes off, you just kind of win from there. 
Unless they have like a stack board of yeah. macro, like Eldritch. Um, 3D barrier um, for the mirror match, of course, and then maybe for the branded stuff because you know you lock them out of fusions and just kind of. Eh. But nobody's ever really just playing pure branded, so it doesn't really come up just for the really mirror match. Uh, I put it in, didn't come up, it is what it is. I still won though, so I got it. Um, yeah, definitely for the back row heavy decks, you got three twin twister. Yes, sir. Amazing card. Um, not the MVP, but it's still a great card, especially since you're saying like your ten E's off that they activate and grave. So great, great card for that. And then three evenly. Again, another blowout card that goes off. You just you know, enter battle phase, and they're just like, oh no, they know it's coming next. You just, right. You just wipe their board, and then you go off and main phase two, and then you put up your negates, and that's pretty much game right there. If they expend all those resources, well, very yeah, that's it for me. Very nice, Troy. Thank I'm you, so happy, dude. Like I, I was rooting for you the whole time, man. Honestly, like wasn't expecting it. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, me and Troy go back to when I first started Yu-Gi-Oh. Troy helped me out a little bit. We were both on a little Cyber Dragon kick, if you remember oh, those man, days. Was, those, those were the days. Those were fun. Well, that's Cyber very cool. So you were able to walk out of here with one of the uh, play mats and uh, what is it? A box and a half of Dimension Force. Yeah, a box and a half. Not bad. And plus the five OTS packs. I think your twenty-five dollars went to a uh, good, good. Uh, yes, they did. Good day, um, man. Definitely, definitely a good day today. Definitely walked out with some prize support. You know, definitely well earned though, because you know, top one team, man. They're just, they're good. They're good. <laughs> well, Troy, you got any shout outs, man? Um, yeah, I'll shout out Pop One, dude. They're, I'm in the um, Discord. You know, we we duel every night. Just about great people, great folks, a lot of fun. They definitely helped me learn the deck pretty quick. I just picked it up coming off of Dino, so. Yeah, definitely they helped me a lot. Um, you got your boy Nate, great dude, man. Helpful all around. You got Nagy, you got Q, just great dude. Preston, of course. Yes, sir. You know, has a pop one team. You got Devin, he's just, he's helpful, you know. He's helped, he, he's obviously winning a lot, but he's definitely gonna help you get there too. Yeah. Well, cool, man, well, cool. Well, man, I'm so happy that you let me do this, Troy. I've been trying to get a deck profile for Troy for like a year now, so I'm so glad that we finally got to sit down, man. Go home and get with your wife and kid, and have a good night, dude. You deserve it, man. Appreciate it, man. We'll see you later, Troy. Peace. Peace out, guys.